right, welcome back for another unboxing and pickups video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, mostly because, uh, well, while I've had plenty of pickups, I haven't gotten anything to do an unboxing uh, in a while. I did just order another Campbell box uh, this past week, so I should get another one of those to do another uh, J. Scott Campbell unboxing in the future. I know people like to see what you get out of those mystery boxes, and uh, I do have another mystery box for you today. I actually subscribed to Comic Tom's Mystery Mail Call to see what you get if you were to get one of these uh, mystery boxes, so I'm going to open it up, show you what you get if you were to subscribe to uh, you know that service. Just out of curiosity's sake, like, I'm curious what's in there. I'm sure plenty of people are curious. So we're going to open it up and see what you get by uh, subscribing to that uh, mystery box service. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying all the content here as well as all the other stuff we have on the channel. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. Keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel as we keep inching closer and closer to 2,000 subs. We are getting closer and closer every day i think we're down to about like 15 or so now so not many left until we hit 2k and then i will be doing another giveaway possibly giving away some of the stuff that i'm going to be unboxing for you today uh this is going to be a mixture of unboxing as well as just showing up some off some stuff i picked up over the last few weeks so hopefully you enjoy that and just see what i've been wasting all of my money on um pre-vacation and through my vacation so I hope to do this maybe once a month uh, going forward as far as a pickup show, maybe do a separate unboxing as a separate little thing, uh, depending on you know what I have to unbox. If there's other like unboxing services or like uh, subscription mystery boxes, things like that, that you guys are curious about and you want me to try it out and open it up on camera, even open it up live on TAC. I can do this on the TAC show if you'd rather see that. Let me know in the comment section what service you would like me to try out because I don't mind being a guinea pig for you guys. So just let me know what you might want to see, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can make it happen. And with that all said, just hang on for a few seconds after the intro, and I will start opening up these packages. All right, so... As I noted in the beginning, we do have uh, an unboxing to do. I am going to be unboxing my Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call box. Uh, just want to see what you get in here. I don't know. I know he's had this service for quite some time, so I figured, you know what? Let me give it a try and uh, check it out and see what you might get by subscribing to this thing. Uh, I forget. I think somebody recommended it in one of the comments uh, before in one of my videos. So I said, you know, what? it's a good idea. So let's give it a try. So I got my package here. I'm just going to open it up and, uh, you know, see what we get. I am trying something else new with my uh, two camera setup. So we'll see if this works. But uh, as you can see, it's just in a regular old, uh, you know, priority mail uh, outer coating. I don't want to be giving you guys all my address, but then we get a nice little, uh, you know, Gemini type box, Gemini type mailer with all the uh, logos and what have you on here. And uh, yeah, we'll just get my handy dandy little box opener and we'll see what the heck we get inside this box. Again, I got no idea what's in here. I have no idea what you're supposed to get in here. Uh, I just figured I would just give it a try and take a shot. Uh, I feel like the monthly service is something like, uh, I think it's like 30 to 40 bucks. And then you got to pay shipping. So I think it ends up shaking out to be maybe $45 out of pocket for me to get this month's box. Something like that. I, I know that you could have gotten uh, grandfathered in and think cheaper prices had you been doing this for a little bit longer. But as I said, I just signed up to see what you would get. So here we go. As I open this up. And we have uh, inside, we have a nice little black bag. So put the black bag down and uh, put this box down and we'll... Open it up and see what we get. Let me switch this on over now to my uh, little separate setup. Like I said, I'm going to try this. Oh, it's a nice little black bag. I'm going to try not to look. Uh, I don't have no idea if these are in any sort of order or what. You know what? I'm going to put them here. Uh, looks like they're face down this way. So let's see what our first book is. This is Agent of... What the heck is it? i got to look at it first. So it's Scout, Scout Comics number one, Agent of World, but with an extra E. All right. I don't know if this is one of his exclusives or not. I'll take a quick peek at the back. Maybe. Eh. See? I don't know. I guess it's just an Agent of World. I guess it's a new book from Scout. I don't know. I'm not up on uh, the Scout releases these days, so I couldn't tell you 
Uh, if this is new or old, I feel like it's got to be on the newer side, but there is our first book. I mean, four ninety nine cover, so I guess that's a chunk of it. Oh, looks like I got a little print in here. Uh, I'll show that there and uh, put this little print that's numbered uh, 1,116 out of 2,100. Uh, pretty cool little print. A little Black Adam. I'm not sure of the artist. I don't know if it'll be... Uh, uh, described somewhere in here. Maybe there's like a little card that will uh, tell me who the artist was because otherwise I just got a print and I have no idea what it is. Uh, then we have uh, this cover here, which I'll lay out for you in a second. I just don't know what this is yet because it's a virgin cover. Don't know what the title is. So I'm just going to quick open it up. This is Flavor Girls number one from our Archaea Press. We can see here on the back and it does look like this is a uh, comic Tom exclusive cover. So a retailer exclusive for this, I guess, newer book, Flavor Girls. I'll have to take a look, check it out. Like you said, don't know much about it. Interesting little cover. So we'll put that there so we can get you guys a good look at that. Not a bad uh, little image. Ooh, I just shook the whole system here. What else do we get here? Oh, got a little uh, Peach Momoko action here. My ring light's giving us a little bit of problem. A little Peach Momoko Gambit number one. Uh, I don't know what cover this is. So let me just check if this is maybe another exclusive. I don't know. Could be. Could be. It is. It is. Uh, looks like a Whatnot and Comic Tom exclusive here for Gambit number one. All right. I don't do much Whatnot shopping. I know I've sold on there a few times. Uh, just, I don't know. It's kind of fun to do, but. I just haven't had the time to get stuff in order and for it. And uh, I know there's been a lot of complaints and things about uh, uh, how people run their shows, but I don't know. It is what it is. As long as you know what you're getting into, trust, trust the seller. Um, just buy from people you trust and you shouldn't have any problems uh, even there on whatnot. But that's kind of a cool cover. I do like Gambit. I am a fan of Gambit. So it's kind of cool to get that uh, whatnot exclusive uh, there. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Oh, got another. We got another uh, comic Tom exclusive. I guess these are all his exclusives in these boxes. So I guess I don't know. That's kind of interesting. I guess Sengi and Tembo. It's got a whole uh, Doctor Seuss thing going. I'm just taking a look at the back to see if it's uh... all right. So it's a Scout Scout Comics uh, exclusive there. Like I said, I don't know the title, but interesting cover. The Horton hears a who homage. It looks like I got one more in this box and then maybe something else. And a uh, brand new series, Isolation, uh, Swolder Comics Group. I don't know this uh, publisher, but it is uh, Tomb of Dracula 1 homage, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to get another homage. So, Swolder Publishing. I don't know Swolder, but mm -hmm. open it up. And I'm just going to, again, take a peek at the back, see if there's any other details I can suss out here. With it now, just uh, just the regular old hip comics, the regular background. All right, so it looks like it's just some sort of a indie book. Interesting. I don't know. Don't know this book, so don't know much about it. Eh, another homage. So a couple of homages, a couple of exclusives uh, in this box. And uh, yeah, let me see. Oh, here we go. And we got the card for August, which also has a little uh, Kylo Run action there. So it doesn't tell me who the. Uh, thing was for maybe the newsletter maybe scanning this newsletter will tell me who that uh, print was was by maybe even who this print is by because you know that's also artwork by somebody i'll put that down here too so you guys can get a better look at that but uh all right so that was in the box that's what was in the box so like i said a bunch of exclusives we got the the card i don't know this indie book we'll just recap it real fast this was an exclusive uh this sengi and tembu this was also an exclusive so we got three exclusives, and it looks like two indie books and a print for, as I said, after shipping, if you want to consider shipping part of the cost. Like I said, I think it was like 45 bucks. So, I mean, I'm not disappointed by that. I mean, I've paid much more than that for exclusives. So I can say I'm happy with the box, ultimately. Uh, I got no complaints here. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know what you think. Do you think it's a good deal? Do you think it's a, a solid value for the price? I think it's about, about par. I wouldn't say I got a you know great deal of uh, stuff in here, but at the same time, I don't feel like I was uh, you know overpaid for anything because I know you you buy most of these uh, 
exclusives these days they're running you at least like 20 bucks and then you got to pay shipping for each of them so to get three of them while i might not have picked all of them it's like you know getting a two for one kind of action and then you got to end your two with it and then a print for free so ultimately you got to say it does seem like uh not that bad a deal so there was our mystery unboxing uh for this month let's see if we have any more going forward but in addition to that i did also get my mailing for my kickstarter so i'm going to unbox this for you too this was i know i talked about it before my buddy chris Nelms put me on this uh ji hyung lee's uh guma uh pretty cool uh story and kickstarter i bought a bunch of the covers and uh i finally got them in today they got delivered actually today so i'm just going to open this up because i did buy a few of these and then i'll just show you the covers that i did get because i did uh i did get one of the higher i guess end uh selections because i wanted all the covers i liked all the covers so i don't actually remember what i bought completely it was like months ago it seems like now or a couple months ago let's see what i got here Decent packaging job here. And that's the other thing. The other mystery box was actually packed very well. The, the books came in nice, safe, and sound. Can't go wrong there. Uh, here we have another. What the heck is this? Look, it's a Gemini supply box, too. I'm going to have to open this bad boy up. I think that's it. There's some uh, peanuts in here and some paper. Just set that aside. Put that out of the way. That's the only problem with doing unboxing is the actual unboxing part can be a little uh, cumbersome. And I know not the best viewing experience, but I try to make this part quick. So open this up and I'll show you guys all of the covers that I got. Like I said, this thing's pretty heavy. This thing is packed pretty tight. It looks like, oh, geez. So they open it up and we got some bubble wrap and some more packaging here. So we got some more opening to do. All right, let's get this one free. This is that hardcore shipping tape, too, so you definitely got to use the box cutter to get into it. And then we do have some painter's tape on the bubble wrap here. I'll uh, show you there. Let's see if I can get into these books without having to cut too much more to loose just by uh, getting through the painter's tape. There we got that. There we got that. Let's put this down. Like I said, it is a healthy stack. I told you I bought a bunch. I don't know why. I guess I just got excited by something new and decided to buy it. Look at this. Look at this healthy stack. All right, we got like a little thank you for your support card here, which is a kind of cool. I'll put this here. You know what? We'll switch over to our double cam action so you guys can see that. Uh, so we got the little card here. Looks like I got some a little print as well character designs it looks like uh, i'm not gonna put this down on the well, i guess i could it's a little sticker uh put this down maybe over on the side here so it looks like i got a little sticker too some more character designs another thing of character designs these are kind of fun and then we got some books so let's see which books we got here so it's like the regular issue one Cover. I think that's the regular cover, cover A. There is a virgin version of it as well. Then we have a Peach Momoko cover. Kind of cool there. Very gothic. Peach Momoko virgin version. So I guess I got virgins with all of the regular editions. This is like, I think, a B cover by Ji Hung Lee. Oh, no, this is the Sozo. This is the Sozo Mica uh, cover. That's what this one was. So I got that one. I think I got an extra one of that because you were able to add on. So I think I got an extra one there. Maybe I'll put it in one of these uh, giveaways when we hit 2K. Uh, I've got the version of that cover. So I got sort of three of those. If you want to count that. This was the B cover I was looking at. I was talking about. Uh this is the B cover by G Hung Lee. Uh, you know, I'm going to move some of the stuff because it looks like as high as this stack is getting, it's making the camera not really pick it up very well. So let me clear this stuff off the deck here. Try not to get too lost in the shuffle with all this stuff. And then uh, try to get not too much glare there. Uh, looks like another issue one. 
of the cover A. Oh, and then looks like another version of the Sozo. Like, again, I don't remember what the heck I ordered. I just know I ordered the whole set. Ah, this is the Ben Oliver. At the time of when I ordered, the Ben Oliver art wasn't available, so you had no idea what you were getting. Uh, looks like also got... Oh, no, that's not the Ben Oliver. That's the issue two. And this is issue three of the series. And then, yeah, I got another issue one. So I didn't see the... I guess I didn't get the Ben Oliver. I thought I did. I didn't see the Ben Oliver in there. I'll have to take a look back through. But as you can see, there's a lot of books in there. Definitely got a lot of books in there. And I'll have to double check all of it. But, uh, yeah. So there was my little Kickstarter pile. Hopefully it's kind of tall. It's going to slide off on me here. Have to move on over because we do have some more to get through. Oh, look at that. What do you start falling all over the place? Stick these up high. And I do have a few more. These ones are already open, so this should go a little bit quicker. These are a few more store variants and exclusives that I have to show you. So let me grab these off the top. Uh, a lot of these are just duplicates, so um, we want to go through these too much this is i believe my last uh tiny onion exclusive that i got here here and we're going to switch over to the double screen too just because i think it'll make it helpful so this is my last tiny onion gold foil exclusive uh i did do that uh, founders level sub stack to start but it was 250 dollars for a year uh i did it last year because i had the money on hand at the time and uh i just decided not to renew like yes you get a ton of variants i got a bunch of exclusives uh, an exclusive variance through that service, which is not bad when you, you factor it, especially if we were to, if I would have sold some of them, but I got to keep them all, but it's still just kind of a steep all at once, like 250 for the year is a lot all at once. So I just decided to, uh, I think I put a pause on it or uh, just stop for now. Cause it's, it's just, like I said, it's a lot to uh, throw out all at, all at once. Cause I had that and the three worlds, uh, the other one, the, uh, the Hickman one. But with that, I also got some of these Harley, uh variants i got three sets uh so again might go into the giveaways but i got three of the nakiyama i you guys know i'm a not david nakiyama fan so i got three of the uh trade dress uh version here as well as three of the uh, virgin so i got the trade dress I got the version. I think these are still available. So these are not ones that sold out and are going to be uh, extra valuable in it or anything like that. Yeah, you never know sometimes. But I knew at the very least that I was going to get some so I could put them potentially in uh, some giveaway boxes because uh, I forget where I bought them from. But they usually have the uh, like a buy one, buy two, get one free. I think it was unknown. But you get like buy two variants and get one free. So it made sense. I was like, well, I'll just buy the extra ones and I can do some giveaways. And it's, uh, you know at a lesser cost to me to get them to you so you'll probably see a couple of these in the uh 2k prize uh once we go forward with that but there is my little bit of store exclusives uh to go with uh, this week's unboxing so let me move on to our next little segment here and we have something from entertainment earth all right so that means it's a toy you guys know i like to buy toys as well i only got one only got one this week, so we will go with what's in this box. One little box. I don't know. I, I pre-order stuff, and uh, like all these G.I. Joe classifieds and some Star Wars Black uh, series, and I forget about them, and then uh, these eventually come. They just show up. Oh, looks like it's a G.I. Joe. And let's see. Today's edition is... Oh, the Alley Viper. I didn't see this on the shelf, so I'm glad that I finally did get one because I used to like this guy uh, as a toy. Here, I'll put this down here. Maybe this will work here as well. All right, look at that. Uh, I did like this figure. Just I don't know, something about the blue and the orange. It just kind of popped. Uh, he had a pretty cool like flip-up mask, uh, a lot of a lot of weapons. He had that shield, which all this stuff comes with the six-inch version as well. So you got all, all these weapons. Pretty cool little figure, uh, if you ask me so. This is, there's no other like things in the back. I mean, I could show you the back, but it's just not, uh, it's not like other figures. So, it's so number 34, the Alley Viper, my one toy pickup for uh, this run. All right, let's get this one out of the way too. Uh, and I suppose 
we can just get into some variants that I got here. Uh, I do have just a couple uh, to show. I don't have to unbox these. I have these already on hand, so I'm just going to put these. Actually, I don't need the cardboard. That will separate them. Put that there. And we're just going to show you some of the variants that I bought. These came in other mail packages over the last couple of weeks. Some of them were uh, during my uh, my vacation. My dad was getting my mail for me, so things weren't building up. And uh, some of the things I've talked about on some of the other shows, to tell you, sometimes I buy this stuff when I go uh, doing research. And the first one is this G.I. Joe, the Sierra Muerta number three uh, incentive, which was kind of tough for me to find i think there's only like one or two out there so i bought the one that was under or pretty pretty close to ratio i think it's a one in ten yeah i think it's a one in ten not a one in 25 so i figured i would go ahead and get that uh i've got the uh what is this the sonic the hedgehog is this the annual i think this might be the annual uh ri the one in ten because i like sonic and i like these sonic books uh i think this was like a week or two ago i think i might have bought these from midtown or at least some of these uh this is the Retailer exclude retailer incentive for Shattered Glass, Transformers Shattered Glass 2. So uh, I think it's gonna be one of the final runs of Transformers books from IDW. So I felt like yeah, I'd buy that. As well as Big Boa. That's another figure I liked uh as a G.I. Joe because he was different. Uh, he looked kind of like Bane. Always made me think that was my like, Bane when I would kind of play with other figures. Uh, but he had little boxing gloves for whatever reason, but this big boa cover, I think this is doing like double ratio or so. And this might be like 15 to 20 bucks these days. It's a 1 in 10 as well. So I've been getting these G.I. Joe 1 in 10s because uh, it's near the end of the run. I think they're going to wrap with 300 at IDW. So, uh, yeah, just finishing out the uh, the run. And then I did get two of this book. I think these are 1 in 5s. Uh, this Cradle of Filth. Uh, I don't know much about the title. I know issue 1 got a, a little heat on it. Uh, you can see it comes polybagged with it covered. I don't know why they actually polybag and covered this one there's nothing not suitable underneath uh that i can see here you can see the the, the polybag i got two of them uh maybe again maybe i'll throw an extra one into the uh giveaway these again are doing i think probably about 20 bucks these days something like that maybe a little over uh and then i you you know why i bought this you can see why i bought this this is just a castlevania homage i'm a big fan of Castlevania. I've seen I got multiple t-shirts. It's one of my favorite games. So anytime I see a Castlevania homage, I usually go out and get it. And uh, I did here. And I got two because uh, I believe it was a one in five. I think Midtown had them for like six bucks or eight bucks. It was under 10 bucks. That's all I know. It was under 10 bucks for the uh, incentive. This was just a, a random death dealer uh, variant just for cover price, I believe. Or maybe it was a, a dollar more. Because I think it might also be a one in five, but it's got that Sega Genesis kind of look to it. Again, I like gaming homages, so when I catch them and I see them, I usually just uh, end up buying them. Uh, this was, I think, the Godzilla. I think it's a special or a annual. This is the one in ten IDW. Because again, I like the IDW one in tens. Uh, I've been looking into them so much recently for the other shows. So these recent ones that have come out, I've decided to uh, get them if they're cheap enough. Oh, here is a uh, last month's. Uh, G.I. Joe, the issue before, the big Boa one, also the one in 10. And I think this one heated up just because the uh, Baroness one went up in price. So then this one started selling for like $25, $30 for a one in 10. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, if you like Dusty, you got a good Dusty cover, I guess. Dusty's all right. Uh, and then I got this last bot standing uh, one in 10 because, again, Transformers. Plus, this one's kind of cool. I kind of like the layout and the design of this one. It's kind of like a old school poster like an almost like a western even uh but pretty cool poster kind of vibe to it so i figured i would just yeah get that for cheap uh i don't think it was that expensive i don't remember how much these all cost but it, it was a round ratio or less maybe a buck or two more in some cases the, the pricing was kind of all over the place but uh that's what i grabbed as far as those variants go and i do have one more to uh show you because i gotta unbox it actually no i got more than one to show you but i'm going to switch gears over to this so i can open this up uh gotta open up this package it's very light pretty flimsy actually this thing uh came shipped from overseas so from the uk uh so hopefully this book came through uh okay it's a bit got a dent in it i don't know if you can see it. it's got a bit of a dent in it Looks like a little bit of a bend in the box, so hopefully it didn't bend all the way through the comic inside because uh, I did pay a little bit for this one. 
uh, at least for me. You guys know I'm a, I'm a cheap comic book uh, buyer for the most part, but sometimes, sometimes I got to pay up a little bit extra to get things that I want. And this is a book that uh, told this story before on the Star Wars show. It's a Star Wars book. Like I said, I know what it is because I know where it came from. This is the only thing I bought from over there. And here we go. This opened up. We got some bubble wrap inside. Let's put this one down there. And it's bagged and boarded. And like I said, got some bubble wrap. So I'll move the bubble wrap. Thankfully, it looks like the book did not get bent. So good thing there. All right, let's switch it over so I can show you the book I'm talking about. And I think it did pay about, I think it was like 90, somewhere around then for this. Um, I think it was in pounds. After it all was said and done with shipping, because shipping from the UK could be a little bit more. I think it was like 110 or something like that. But I did get this Vader, this 1 in 50 uh, variant, which I have owned before. I think I've told this before. Uh, when it, this issue came out, I bought it at a shop near my work, and it was like 30 bucks for the 1 in 50. I quickly flipped it for 80 and then I uh, didn't think about it for a while. And then it just kind of eventually we just kind of lingered around that price. I think it even dipped and then it eventually started going up. And then it was like a you know, 150 $200 raw book. And I was like, I'm never going to buy it for that. And uh, this one came close enough, close enough. So when I do the math in my head, thinking, well, I got 80 for the one I did buy. I mean, I don't want to get technical and get into all the other fees and costs. I'm just in my head rationalizing 80. How much more am I paying? Is this a close enough? And in this case, it felt close enough, so I did it, and I bought this book back. So sometimes you got to undo your own mistakes. With that, I do have some more variants to show you, and i got to open them up from packages because, well, I bought these off of uh, eBay from uh, one seller. Actually, two packages here. Which one came first? Let's see which one I got here first, and then we'll go through, and uh, I'll show you. There's a bunch of variants in here, and I got a bunch of these for cheap. I tried to pull up my uh, eBay history so I can tell you what I won them for. because These are all at auction. I've told you before, auctions. Pay attention to auctions, especially when you're looking at things that are just not on the hot list. They're not in-demand books. These are, you know, in a lot of cases, high-ratio variants that I just think are kind of interesting. And for the price that I paid, I'm definitely buying them. Uh, so that's what I did. Here we go. For box one, uh, definitely got uh, plenty going on here as far as packaging goes. Uh, these are just more variants. I mean, let's get it out of here. Uh, some more there, unless some painter's tape. Oh boy, maybe I should open this up before going in through this. Oh, there's. A one book held separately because I did pay a little extra for one book. And we will get to that as well. I told you, I'm not embarrassed to share how much I spend on books. I uh, don't want to say it all the time because uh, you know, sometimes the sellers can be a little uh, sensitive, especially if they give you a deal. They don't want to get to spread too much so that everybody thinks they can get the same deals or they'll have to do it all the time. So not to say that I get special treatment or anything. I'm just noting. I know sometimes... That's the case. But here, I do not know the seller personally, so I have no idea how they feel about this stuff. All I can say is I feel like I got a deal by getting these books. And put this aside for now. That's the one book that's still in there. I'll open up the, a lot of painter's tape and tape, bags and plastics. and All right, finally. Now I can show off what I got here. It's already near in like half an hour. We have, oh, it looks like they're facing back to back, so I'm going to do it like this. First book up is this Mighty Avengers 5. This is, all right, so this thing gets this order. This Mighty Avengers 5 is actually, let me scroll back through from when I bought it. This is a 1 in 50. This is a 1 in 50 incentive, Mighty Avengers 5. Uh, I think I covered this before on one of the ghost shows, and uh, I won it at auction for $4.99. So, to one fifty for five bucks, I'm buying that. Uh, I don't care what the title is, uh, for the most part. Uh, the next one, I can actually can see this next one because it's in front of me. This is also a one in fifty Salvador Laraca. Uh, I did pay a little more for this one. This one I ended up paying thirty three, but that's still under ratio. And I like Galactus, so I thought it was a pretty cool cover, and uh, I was happy to pick that one up for even at thirty three bucks. Uh, I think that was getting close to where I was going to tap out. 
as far as bidding goes, but luckily I did win and was able to get all these together and then combine shipping, which made it, uh, you know, even nicer uh, for me. Uh, up next, I got Captain Marvel number two. This one, let me scroll back through. This is another one in 50. This is a J.G. Jones uh, 2014 Captain Marvel number two on one at auction for six dollars. He said, I'm going to tell you what I paid for these. This is why I look at these auctions and I stalk some of these auctions for some of these books because something like that. I do like J.G. Jones's art, just like I do like Frank Cho's art, who I covered recently on Hidden Gems. This is another one in 50. Again, high ratio incentives for cheap prices, at least to me, cheap prices. This one I won for $8.31. So all these things, you can probably see. If you want to go search it out, you can search them out on eBay. And you can see the uh, you know the whole thing, but uh, there it is. Uh, that's what I got for that one. I probably shouldn't even be telling you. You guys are going to all go and start looking and be competing with me for these books. Here's another one. Uh, but I don't mind sharing. Avengers AI, number one. This is a 1 in 25, uh, but I liked 8-bit. Again, video games. I mentioned it a couple times already today. Uh, this one, $3.99. I won at auction. This is one I have already, so this one might end up going out back to you guys in one fashion or another. Uh, this is the... This is only a 1 in 15, but it's a Moon Knight variant, and it usually sells for a lot more. But uh, again, I just threw a bid down on it and ended up getting this one for only 950. So this is a 1 in 15, but it usually sells for a lot more, like in that 50 to kind of like $75 range, at least for a while, especially when Moon Knight was hot. So 950 was a pretty good deal, uh, to me at least. I'm almost done with this stack. It's an X Factor number one in this same kind of time frame, this 2014 time frame. This is also a 1 in 50 that I won this one for $1.35. I know, it's X-Factor. Not even a lot of people care, uh, but I do like X-Factor. And for 1 in 50, uh, I'll pay $1.35 all day, all day. I don't, I'm not worried about, you know, reselling or anything like that. I just like adding these oddball things into my collection because, I mean, how many of them could be actually out there? I did research all of these to find uh, how many are out there, but I got to imagine some of these could be pretty low print. Uh up next, I did get, is this just the one? Yeah, I think this is just the one. This Avengers number 27. This is a 1 in 50 connecting cover. Uh, $7.50 I paid for this one. Uh, and I do have uh, some other ones that go with it, but I do think these might go together. There's 25, and here is issue, also issue 25. Oh, this is the A and B set uh, with the connecting covers. It's only uh, $4 for those. Well, this one connects, and this is, I think, the regular cover for that same uh, same issue. So this is the variant that would connect. And I do believe I have the, this go this way. Oh, no, this is 26. I'm missing 26, which I think I have somewhere else in another box. But it would go in between these two. But there we have that. And then I still got one more here. Uh to show you and this was the one i paid a little extra for uh another one of those books that i just really wanted and uh luckily at the time i had it to buy it so i was able to get it it's in a top loader uh this one i got for uh let me go back to the price like i said i paid extra for this one this one i ended up spending uh, 140 bucks on it so this is the price you buy for me but it is a book that was on my list. If you watched my wish, wish list video, this is one of the books that was on my wish list for this year. So I check another one off. Uh, so I'm getting like halfway there uh, with all my wish list books. Uh, there's more painter's tape holding this in place, but you'll be able to see it uh, without that. Oh, as you also get a very good look at the camera, I have just aimed straight down. Uh, but this is the Silver Surfer, number one, the Franca Villa, the one in 50. I have the issue two. That's also the one in 50. Uh, pretty tough to find and pretty tough to find in a high grade. Uh, I forget what this one was marketed as. Uh, I guess I can go back and, and see. Uh, it doesn't say grade, at least on it. But when I looked at the pictures and I look at this one here, uh, looks looks pretty good. There might be a tiny bit of rub on the edge uh, of this at the top corner, but there are no ticks or anything like that that I could spot. And all black cover. Uh, I might send this in. I might sub it just to see what happens. 
Uh, I mean, I'll take a 9.6 if it ends up being a 9.6. But yeah, so I paid up a little extra for this one. So you, you, you dollar cost average all these books together. So maybe I didn't get all of them for cheap, but most of them were. Technically, I, mean, I say that, but technically this one is too, because if you go shopping for this one now, this is still listed in a lot of cases for $200, $300, so uh, raw. So I still think I did all right getting that one for even that price. Uh, but that's what I got. Do I have any more for you? I don't know if I do. Oh, I do have one more. Oh, shoot. shoot. I got one more box. I do got one more box. One more box of variants. I know you guys have been sitting here like half an hour with me going through all these things I've been uh, picking up and buying, but eh, hopefully you find this interesting. Um, probably going to post this early on Thursday. I'm filming this on Wednesday before the tax show uh, just because uh, I had some spare time before uh, getting ready for the show tonight. Uh, hopefully you want guys watch that too. Here we go. Let's see if I get... It's going to be tough to open. All right, got that. some more there and as you might guess i do have as i said some more variants for you i don't know as i said things are cheap enough especially at auction i'll throw a bid down and wait and see and uh sometimes you just still eventually win all right let's set these down all right this this batch we will start off with this book which i think i got multiple copies because i think it's a lot of uh yes it's five I don't even know why, uh, but it's a lot of five of this all new X Men 22 animal variant. So, for five of them for 99 cents, I figured, well, uh, why not? I'll take a shot. Oh, I got rid of the camera. There it is. I figured, why not for 99 cents get five of these? And like I said, maybe I'll put a couple out there, do some more giveaways. It's this is also stock for giveaways, too. Uh, let's try to cover up. Well, we'll do this next since this is the first one. We'll do this one next. All right, let me get rid of this. Sorry, I'm trying to stay organized. Here's another one at 50 that I got. This one for $4.99. Uh, Joe Quinones variant from uh, 2012, Iron Man number 23. Uh, I got this Age of Ultron. Uh, these, I know where I can get a few more of these uh, at my shop that I can get the $5 variants. I hadn't uh, jumped in on it because I'm like, I don't want to start getting them and not get all of these Age of Ultron variants. But these particular ones, I actually have two of them in here. This one I won for 99 cents. So one in 25 for 99 cents. As I said, I would, uh, I'm going to do that every day. Uh, just like this one. It's also one for 99 cents. Um, so 99 cents for one in 25. Um, I'm going to buy it. it. Doesn't matter. Just going to buy it. Here's another one for you. This is a Wolverine. Uh, what is this? Wolverine number one, Jerome Pena. One in 50. Four ninety nine, so another book for five bucks. Like I said another one in fifty for five bucks, all day. I'm gonna all day. You got my money. I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, so, just saying. Oh, we'll save this one. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm gonna save that one for a second. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, this next one. This Battle of the Atom number seventeen. This is a one in twenty five. Stuart Eminen uh, variant. So one in twenty-five for four ninety-nine. All right, so it's not quite a one in fifty for four ninety-nine, but I'll still take the, uh, I'll still take that. Uh, let's go with this one next. The Defenders number one. Uh, this is a uh, only a one in ten. This is a one in ten Terry Dodson cover. I just kind of like it with the you know the words making out the characters. So a one in ten for ninety-nine cents. Still gonna keep buying it. If I found it in a dollar box, I'd buy it. So why won't I buy it online for a dollar? Move it on next. Oh, here we go. So is this New Avengers number 16? New Avengers number 16. What is this one? There is the 50th anniversary connecting cover by Bendis. I don't even know what the, if this is just a regular variant or not, but it was 99 cents. So uh, I just bid on it and won. Oh, let's go with uh, this one next. Another all new X Men. This one is number eight for all new X Men. Oh wait, this is all new X Men number eight. What's the other one? This one was sixteen. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong, wrong listing. The sixteen is actually was it extra? 
Might have just been thrown in because I don't see this on my list. Of that's why, eh? I don't know. So maybe it was thrown in by accident or the wrong book was sent. I don't know. We'll get to that in a second. Because I do have one more X-Men book for you. It's Ultimate Comics. It's number 29. I think I've talked about this one, too, on one show or another. Uh, but a 1 in 25, uh, Ultimate X-Men number 29 for $3.99. Well, I figured, why not? You know, four bucks. And this is the one I talked about this week, just on Tuesday. Uh, and I told you I bought it, and I bought it for $14.50. This is that one in 100 Seekers of the Weird, because, uh, like I said, I was shopping, and I saw it, so I bought it, as well as the number two that I also mentioned that I got, which I think was a 99 cent, right? Just double check, I think that was another one I got, yep, 99 cents for a one in 25 uh, for the Seekers of the Weird. So there's still plenty more of these Seekers of the Weird variants for me to go track down. Don't know if I'll get them all, but I will buy them if they're this cheap uh, every day every day so uh that's all i got for you uh hopefully you thought that was kind of fun i thought that was kind of cool seeing all the books that i wasted my money on even if i didn't waste that much on them and uh hope you find that interesting uh so thanks for stopping by and checking this out i still appreciate all the support you guys have shown the channel over the last couple of years hopefully uh, you're sticking around and uh, still enjoying the content that we are all putting out because now it is more than just me as i've gotten more friends to help make some content here on the channel because i'm uh been stretching myself pretty thin. I can only do so many shows every week, but uh, still love doing it. I just wish I had more time in the day. Uh, if I didn't have a day job, maybe, but I do. This is just my hobby. This is just my passion. This is not what I do. Um, this is not, you know, what my job is. I wish this were what my job is, but it's not. Uh, I don't sell comics typically. I mean, I sell them occasionally, but I'm not showing you stuff that you're going to go find out upon eBay. That's like, yeah, I paid 99 cents, and now I'm going to try to get $50 out of you because that's not why I bought these. I bought these for me. Uh, and uh, I don't know, as I said, this is what I love. This is my hobby. Hopefully you still enjoy it. Hopefully you can appreciate uh, collecting like I do and uh, tag me on the stuff that you have. You have any of these books? Let me know in the comments. Like I said, tag me on IG. I'd love to see it because I love seeing other people's collections too. And with that all said, thanks for stopping by and checking this out and bearing with me for about 40 minutes uh, looking at all the stuff that I bought the last few weeks. And uh, I will see you soon with some more content, including Dollar Been Digging later tonight. All right, later.